What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. If you are a real, real OG of the channel, you might recognize where we are from around about a year ago. Um, I was gonna put the camera away today, I wasn't gonna vlog, and I was just gonna focus on my work, but I've just been for one of my last, the last, meeting with my dissertation tutor. Um, university is coming to an end, and I feel inspired. So, um, I'm going to show you guys a few things. It's pretty cool. Let's get started. So, as you guys can see, we are right next to the very well-known Nottingham Castle. And around about this area, guys, where I am right now is a lot of things and a lot more things than I can even begin to comprehend, to understand and explain to you guys. A lot of meaning to myself. I'm a very nostalgic guy um, and I have a lot of memories around this place. A lot. Um, so much that is of the foundation of this channel was built in and around this sort of 50 meter, 100 meter radius. It's crazy how much stuff is just around the corner from here. I used to live up the street, I will show you that guys in just one minute. have a little walk up and down and I'm going to explain a few things um, to you guys. I'm smiling just thinking about it. I'm going to explain a few things to you guys uh, while it's sunny, while it's nice. Um, yeah, um, I'm just going to show you around. This very post box is where one of the first ever LSJ Fitness photos was taken. This is where this photo right here was taken. And it literally is round the corner from where I used to live. There's, there's some more I'm going to show you. <laughs> this very door is again one of the few places where the first ever LSJ fitness photos were taken. A year ago, it was a year, around about four or five days ago from filming this, um, one year ago was the launch, and this street was used as pretty much the shoot location, so we say. Um, all the photos that I used that I put on the website when it was first launched, that I put on social media, I hyped it all up on Instagram and everything like that, they were all taken along this one stretch of road. There's a little bit more up here, I'll take you to now. Yet another door where I did some artsy fartsy hands cross thing more than a year ago. That was probably around about a month, six weeks, if not two months before the actual launch of LSJ Fitness. That was probably around about January last year. So probably coming up to a year and a half ago when those photos were taken. And it was just a nice day and I grabbed Charlotte and we came out and took the photos. Uh, just more up on the wall and like there's all mossy stuff down there. Like, there's just so much around here that is really the foundation that no one has ever actually seen before. Not properly, anyway, because there's been a lot of you that have joined on since then, because that was a good 18 months ago. It just gives you guys an actual chance to not appreciate, well, appreciate is probably the right word, to appreciate, oh, hang on, and you saw cars like this on a daily basis. We're in the nice part of town, so that was just a daily occurrence. You just saw a Jaguar, just cause. If you guys were a subscriber all the way back in the consistency series, if you guys were subscribers back in the growth series, this is where that was built. This is where the true, true foundations of the channel are from. These very walls, these very streets. I lived just around the corner and for a dirt cheap price because the beauties of student living. Let's go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
his coach house. You guys won't have seen that for the best part of a year now because I moved out, I made an emotional video and this is actually the first time I've come back since. Um, I mean we drove past to pick up the keys for the new place for Gordon House but coach house will never be forgotten. There it is, there's the bedroom window. Ah, I tell you what, it's, it's, a, it's a real, real mixture of feelings today because I've come back and actually seen the place where I was last year for the first time in a year. I've had my last dissertation lecture. You know, things are coming to an end and I, I, I don't want them to. I just don't want them to. I just love everything about the student life, the friends that you can have, the relationships that you can build, the opportunities that it actually gives you. Like living here, this is a multi-million pound building and I lived here for just over a hundred pound a week for a year that was paid for with my student loan. I mean, yes, I'm gonna have to pay that back one day, but my God, just appreciate absolutely everything. And I was talking to my friends, Jake and Alex, you guys have seen them on the channel multiple times the other day about something that I always used to say back in second year, back when I lived at Coach House. I always, always used to say one thing. That one thing would be that I will live here. This is just a block of apartments at the top of the street of where I used to live. Coach houses are around about here. The castle is just around there. These flats are here. Words could not describe the happiness that it would bring if I was to achieve that goal. If it takes five years, if it takes 10 years, if it takes however long, one of these is gonna be mine. I don't know when, I don't know how, but one day I will live here. right here, walking straight down into town, from Coach House into Nottingham. Two minute walk, my favorite thing to do. Something so simple, but it's my favorite thing to do. How much to live right here? Take a guess. Take a guess, take a second, pause the video, put in the comment section your guess per month in pounds, how much it costs to live there. You done it? Okay, good. Now do the same thing for how much it costs to live at Coach House. You done it? The first one, the more expensive one, here, is almost 800 pounds. Whereas, Coach House, 120 pounds. Ridiculous, I know. Student life's the best. Now, the nostalgia surrounding this place, for me personally, is just through the roof. I mean, back there was the, the, the Robin Hood statue, which I'm sure you guys have seen many, many times before in some crappy edit mix thing that I made back in the day. Um, and, and I didn't record it because, well, f for obvious reasons, but there was, I just wanted to point something out, I wanted to remember this and I wanted to, to, to document it. There was actually a blind man there with his guide dog and someone there helping him, whether it was a relative or you know someone working or, or something, I don't know, but there was someone there with him. Um, and clearly this person had a huge, huge interest in not only Robin Hood, but the castle in general. Obviously because of his sight, 
you know, he, he couldn't physically see this statue. And so he was stood there with this with his guide dog and with this with this woman and he was feeling the feeling the statue. Meanwhile, the woman was just explaining to him exactly what he was touching. You know, this is this part, this is that part, you know, this is his arrow, all of this kind of stuff. And the look on his face, my god, the look on his face was this I've never seen a smile so big, honestly. This this bloke was just genuinely so happy, so appreciative, and so just he has so many reasons to just be negative i mean i i would find it incredibly difficult my grandma was blind um unfortunately she's not with us anymore but she was she she was blind and honestly i don't know how she did it and the nostalgia of just being around here and then seeing him and a woman describing to him uh everything that happened everything that he was touching and you know everything like that it's just very 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 nostalgic day that was that was a beautiful thing to see that was beautiful I mean just look just look behind me how busy it is that's what I loved about when I was fortunate enough to actually live here that there was something always always going on whether it was a, like it's, it's the middle of the day on a friday it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and everywhere around here is rammed i can show you guys exactly how amazing nottingham really is it's time to do my favorite walk i mentioned it a little bit earlier my favorite walk into nottingham every single day i got to do this and every single time there was something different going on in market square it would be even better on the way to uni see this bus here the bus stops right there i used to live there two second walk to the bus I mean, really, just look at this. It's the middle of the day. The middle of the day and it's absolutely ram. This time we are celebrating St. George's Day. Uh, it literally has been a year since I've been here. This video popped up on the, in my memories because I used this as the thumbnail. I had the flag, the England flag in there. Um, it was titled Why I Love Nottingham or something, something like that. But a year has passed. It's time to show it again. isn't actually until Monday uh, so the day after this video comes out um, and you think this is busy <laughs> you best bet that there'll be something bigger going on all right everybody this has been 10 weeks episode 15 something like that we are absolutely flying through these episodes um, and this is just a reminder to be appreciative of absolutely everything in your life whether it's your family your friends you know and absolutely anything I could the list could go on forever right just be appreciative of absolutely everything and everyone within your life because it could change at the click of a fingers and just you you can't do anything about it so as always remember guys no regrets please just turn to the person next to you and let them know that you're thankful just please please just do it I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. So thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. Together we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Life, life.